Thank you, Ben. In good health, is eating before bed keeping you from getting a good night's sleep? Experts say it really could depend on what you're eating, not just when. For some, when the clock strikes midnight, it's a time to count sheep. But for others, their stomach tells them otherwise. I am a snacker, so I'll get up in the middle of the night and I'll eat ice cream or I'll, I'll eat chocolate or something, and I'll just go back to bed. Dan Henry says it takes a toll. Once I fell asleep, I'd have trouble staying asleep, and I would notice that I would have unusually vivid dreams once I finally got to sleep. It would be alternate reality, almost, sort of thing. So it would almost be like it happened a different way in my, in my dream compared to how it happened in real life. Is late night snacking really to blame? Sleep expert Dr. Glenn Adams says yes and no. If you eat foods that are sugary sweet drinks or desserts and stuff like that, uh, those tend to decrease the production of serotonin. That's a mood relaxing hormone essentially for quality sleep. If you have caffeine, a piece of chocolate, chocolate ice cream, something like that, uh, and the caffeine is upsetting your sleep, then you may not be sleeping quite as well. You're going to be more likely to remember your dreams. Typically, the dreams we remember are the dreams we wake up from. A better choice? Foods high in melatonin, like tart cherries, grapes, or tomatoes. Dairy and poultry also help promote sleep. Stuff that, uh, that has tryptophan in it, turkey, chicken, milk. Experts also say a few nuts or sunflower seeds can also make a great bedtime snack. Probably also a little bit easier to grab than turkey or even chicken.